all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice came in good and clear please don't forget to invite your friends and share the link if you care and if you don't care just take a hike uh, you know uh, as you see the title and the, the thumb the muslims always the muhammadans when somebody convert to islam they make a huge party because this cult is dead and the funny is that when they make their party i mean they don't even carry the news as it is you will see like zakura nayuka saying in his uh, and all the muslim not only him father let us uh, zoom in more hilarion hege a permanent priest you know anyone who knows what priest mean in the Orthodox Church he knew that this is the lowest rank in the church and there is many reasons for that education and if you are married so when the Muslim they try to make it a big deal if somebody converted to Islam and he is a permanent priest you never heard of something called like I mean if you, you can go right now and see and look for the the ranks in the Orthodox Church and then you will see that the priest is the lowest but for us doesn't mean anything to be lowest what lowest mean you know we are Christians right we doesn't have a but this is how I mean they like they make it like a big deal but uh, this guy he was a Catholic he became a Protestant obviously he have something wrong with him however but to prove that there is something wrong with this man I'm not putting him down but his belief now is going to put him down why in the world anyone want to believe in religion promise you you will have an endless penis unless you are a pervert give me a reason why anyone want to believe in a religion the prophet of this religion have zero miracles and the Quran witness for that why you want to believe in religion allowing you to have sex with the children why you believe in religion allowing you to beat your wife why you believe in religion allowing you to lie I mean I can continue religion of hate religion of violence religion of cheating religion uh, I mean the guy Muhammad himself he went to his own son wife when she was alone and he flirted with the wife according to the Muslim books and you remember the Muslim books uh, they tried to give you the best of the image of Muhammad so maybe he slept with her but they say he flirted with her and she was married so why in the world anyone have a little ethic and dignity when I believe in such a garbage so my friend for us when I was a child I learned that from what I saw around me that fly go to garbage and bees go to the flowers you got just one more fly prove me wrong Any Muslim can prove me wrong. My Skype is open. You don't even dare to call me. They don't even dare to call me. You know, if I go right now and search for people who converted out of Islam, I'm not going to search for someone is equal to a priest, a sheikh. No. What if we search and find out the wife of Muhammad herself left Islam? And became a Christians. <laughs> Is that true? Any Muslim he wanna get me busted? The wife of Muhammad, while he is married to her, she left him. She converted to Islam. She left him and she married a Christian man. But we don't, how many times I made videos about it? I don't know. So, so what a big deal. Anyone?
who is a Muhammadan <clears throat> would like to join us live on air. Anyone? If I type right now the name of a guy, his name is Muhammad Rahuma. Who is this Muhammad Rahuma? Any Muslim? The uncle of Muhammad left Islam and he converted to Christianity. The dean of the Azhar University left Islam and he became a Christian. But all of this will not prove Christianity to be right. So what? What a big deal. People, they might convert for a wrong reason. doesn't matter what you convert to who is this guy any Muslim heard of him <laughs> this is your master <laughs> this is your master he left Islam he was teaching all the sheikhs in Egypt what Islam is about go check him out Muhammad Rahuma Dr. Muhammad Rahuma. Not a potato in the lowest in, in the shelves of the Orthodox Church. This is your master. This is one who thousands of sheikhs graduated under his shoes. But we don't make a big news about it. He go on TV, he invited a lot of Muslims out of Islam to Christianity. He debated the biggest sheikhs of them and he made them shish kebab and nobody dared to debate him. Even the son of the founder of Hamas, he left Islam. But we don't make a big, you know, what a big deal. But the question here, who dare to call me and stay a Muslim? A challenge you know actually before I go live uh, uh, YouTube suggests for me a video and this video from this uh, uh, kid uh, they call him Hamza and I did not watch the whole video but I, I move it because they, they are just talking stupid talk and then they play the video of this rabbi and then this rabbi he said the Christians believe uh, in the Trinity and whatever that mean and both of them those potatoes they start laughing but my friend he just laughed at your prophet and he gave him a finger because the video you are playing saying according to this guy they don't believe that God have a son but your stupid Quran which written by the Muhammad W upon him wicked upon him says that the Jews believe that Allah have a son so who is lying your rabbi or your God and your prophet hmm? who is lying the Muslim they try to fix it they say no no hold on hold on if you go to the book of tafsir it says one Jew there is one Jew read it the duct tape religion is not working. And you're a prophet, penis, duct tape. You're a prophet, anus, duct tape. You're a prophet, mouth, duct tape. You're a prophet, Quran, duct tape. It doesn't work. It says the Jews. It says the Christian, they say, and the Jews, they say. Not one Jew and one Christian. So if you are saying to me it was one Jew, that is the most stupid answer ever. That means the Quran written by a stupid idiot who do not know how to speak Arabic.
This is chapter 9, verse number 30. It says, the Jews save. All the Jews. So, in the video, he's playing, and both of them, they are like, you know, a bunch of kids. They are laughing, but you are laughing at yourself. You just gave finger to your prophet. Your prophet, he lied. So, either your prophet lied, and the Jews don't believe that God has a son, or your prophet told the truth, that means both of you, and the one you are playing his video, or a scumbag. You know, you will notice something actually when the Muslims and the Jews decide to gather against Christianity. That again proves Islam to be fraud. Because according to the Quran, it says the most close people to those who they are Muslims are those who call themselves Nasara. And the most enemy to those who call themselves Muslims is those who call Jews. But look what's happening. This man is an antichrist, he's a Jew. He hates Christianity for a very simple reason. Christianity is taking the children of the Jews and they become Christians. And now Israel losing population to Christianity. Nobody convert to Islam. You might find once, you know, like maybe one, two, three a year. But how many Muslim, how many Jews convert to Christianity every day? We have big churches, it's called Messianic Jews, which means everybody there is Messianic. So when the Abdul, they make fun, they make fun of the Quran. When the Quran says the most enemy to those who they are believers are those who call themselves Jews. The Muslim today, they are playing videos of Jews and the Jews is saying, no, we have one, the same God. What? But isn't it the God of the Jew is isn't it the God of the Jews if we ask this rabbi? Isn't it the God of the Jews he came to Abraham as a man? The Jews make fun of Allah. How the Jews they believe in Allah? <laughs> the rabbi you are playing is saying that he he think that the God of Islam is the same as the God of the Jews. But this is the Quran. The Jews make fun of Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody? He believe in Allah and he make fun of Allah. Who is lying? Your rabbi or the Quran? Do we have any Muhammadan? May they, may they, may they. If you are a Muhammadan and you think you have a belief and religion, stand up for it. Otherwise, I accuse you, all of you, to be fraud, defending what you do not know. And actually, this is why you don't dare to call me, all of you. I heard that this potato, he posted a video saying, Christian Prince, come and debate us. Okay, I will come and debate you. Give me your Skype. I will call you right now. Is that fair? What come and debate? Give, give me your Skype. Go live in your channel. I want to see, you will see all of you, that those people will be crushed in two minutes. Do you dare to give me your Skype? Not, but I want. I don't want you alone. I want you to to bring with you people who even speak Arabic. What about you? Ambush me and bring me hijab. All of you are a bunch of cowards. You don't dare. I invite all the Muhammadan who have a big mouth to ambush me. You don't dare. Potatoes. You do not need to come to my channel. You can go live in your channel, and I will call you. You have no excuse. The excuse of I will hang up on you. No, you can hang up on me. Do you dare? Oh, what you need to do? Give me your Skype. I will call you immediately. So who is a Muhammadan? He dare to call me. So I will make him leave Islam the same as the wife of Muhammad. Any Muhammadan? Hmm?
אני אבדול. They come with the most funny stupid logic. The Muslims are logical. Muslims, when they speak to you, they speak about logic. Who of you remember the video of a Jazeera TV, six million Muslims leaving Islam with anyone have it still? I asked you at that time to download it and share it. Look like nobody shared it. Did anyone download the video? Did anyone even save the video link? Six million Muslims from a Jazeera TV. The program is the Sharia and life. Sharia I mean the Islamic law. Six millions, not six hundred, not six thousand, not six hundred thousand, six million Muslims in one territory in the world. If anyone have the link, post it in the chat, please. We step by it by accident, just uh, actually, I mentioned this uh, video a long time ago, right away when they broadcast, but after that, I could not find it in YouTube. But if you remember, I think two months ago, we were able to see it and we found it and we paused the link and we asked everybody to download the video. And now it's time to see how many of you are serious and how many of you really download the video and repost it. If nobody, it's mean nobody here is serious. Do we have any Muhammadan? Until now, I don't see the video link of the six million Muslims left Islam in the chat. Where, where is the people who claim they care? And I said, guys, download it, share it, save it in your favorite. I will give you time to find it, maybe. Six millions at Jazeera TV. And not only that, even your funny prophet, Akka the devil, Muhammad, he prophesied. Now, he prophesied that shaitan, he fought at the Adhan. We know that. But uh, he prophesied that Islam will die. Did your prophet prophecy hurt your feeling? Muhammadan? Either you believe in what your prophet of Islam, wickedness upon him, said, or you don't believe. Any Muhammadan? Even we believe Muhammad is a fraud, and we don't believe in his prophecy. But we believe that Satan, he knew his quality. Hmm? Satan, he knew the quality of his religion. He described Islam as a serpent. Why anyone want to believe in the serpent?
the new clear scientist Jews who converted to Christianity. Okay, so what? I mean, that's not a big deal. We are just here showing them how hypocrite, stupid they are. Desperate. Because Islam, who is who convert to Islam famous? Famous in what? Pimp. A whore. A desperate woman looking for a marriage. As simple as that. Somebody is uh, uh, angry from his fa family, so his society. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Our friend Sheikh uh, uh, Imad Umad, he found the link. How many of you is going to download the video and reshare it again? Download it, because the Muslims can take it down. Who want to give me one and he say, I'm going to download the video. Six million Muslims leaving Islam a, a year. And if you are a person, I don't know if the video isn't just in Arabic only because the program in Arabic is. But if anyone who speak, maybe Alfred, you know, he speak both languages, maybe he can. Uh, make subtitle. You do not need to make all the video, you know. Make the part where he mentioned six millions. Six millions. This is your potato, and this is a Jazeera TV, the biggest Islamic terrorist TV in the world. And this is a very famous program, as Sharia wal Hayat, and they are crying, avalanche. Six millions, six millions, brother. They are leaving Islam, brother. Six millions. Not six people. Guys, we know it's in Arabic, we know. But we hope that those who speak Arabic and English, they can add subtitle. Let us see how many of you care for to do some work to, for the Lord, so people will see the truth. I know that many people are just numbers, you know. That's why the Lord, he says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who will do his will. There's many, they are called themselves Christians. We don't count numbers. We count quality. At least download it, if you don't, even if you don't speak the, English, the, the language. And actually, I will watch it later. And I will see in which minute he say that six millions, I think six six million six hundred something, six million, and uh, uh, six hundred something uh, a day, they leave Islam. Total six millions a year, a day. Do me a favor. If you download the video and add subtitle, send me, shoot me a link in Patreon. In Patreon, just make an account. You do not need to make a donation. Many people think that Patreon is a donation place only. All my videos is for free, which means you don't even need to do anything. Let us see how many Muslims would like and would dare to call me. Do we have any Muhammadan here accept the challenge? The truth is that your prophet wife, she left Islam. The truth is that there is a big war of apostate after Muhammad died, which means 90% of Muslims left Islam. There is a big sheikh, his name is Al-Qaradawi. He said, if the, not the war of apostate, Islam is dead. Hmm? And Islam is dead today. This is why not a single Muslim country want to practice Sharia law. Hold on, there is only one, is Taliban. And Taliban are going against the will of their own people. Because they are heavily armed and they are drug dealers. Do we have any Muhammadan? 
So when you make a big news about a permanent, you know, like a famous big deal priest, he is just a priest. Priest is the one who do the funeral, baptism. He's the lowest rank in a church. You never heard of something called bishop? Go and check right now. And even if he is a high person, which is not, still, that will not change the fact that Islam is the most stupid cult ever. Do we have any Mohammedan there to call me right now, right here? Who dare? They don't. They don't dare. And you know, the funny is, after this program was broadcast, uh, I went to uh, Jazeera TV and I downloaded it. And then, less than 24 hours after, the whole program is deleted. Because I said, because I downloaded the video, but I did not have a link for it yet. So I was going to share the link from a Jazeera TV and it's gone. But thank God I was able to download it. And this guy, he give you numbers. This is the guy who is in charge of the Dawa in whole of South and Africa. Ahmed Al-Qatani, he's from Libya. He is the one is called the director of the Menorah of the companion of the science or the study of Sharia. Crying like a puppy. Do we have any Mohammedan? Who is a Mohammedan would like to join us live on air to prove to us that Islam is not a fraud? Me, myself, I am very satisfied with the size of my private part. I don't want to convert to Islam and have an endless one. If you can call me and convince me that it's the right decision to join a right religion Make everybody his penis endless. Please feel free. Anyone? I mean, how even you can walk with such a penis? The Muslims have a brain. How you can walk with it? I mean, if your penis is endless, it's in the front of you. It's not a tail. Like if it's a tail, I would say you drag it. But this is in the front. Anyway, let us see. Maybe there is a Muslim would like to call us. <clears throat> the only Muslim who called me is the one who denied the Hadith and the Quran. His name is Fakira. Hello? Yeah, Fakira. Son of Muta. This is the only one who called me. Who make fun of Muhammad? He said the F word to him and to Allah. This is the only one left between you, a mentally ill person. Do we have any brave Muslim? He believe the Quran is corrupt. He follow Rashad Khalifa. He don't accept one word of what Muhammad said, but he's a liar. When I ask him who is your prophet, who is his wife, he start giving me names. I ask him where he got this from. 
He said from uh, 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 the books of history. <laughs> what a kid. So do we have a real man, a real Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge to call me. Otherwise, what your prophet said is going to happen very soon. Did you watch the Muslim videos about the avalanche of the collapse of Islam? I did not make it. It's there. The avalanche. Hmm? Any Mohammedan? Who is a Mohammedan he there? Hmm? Did your prophet say the truth when he said verily Islam is taught as something strange? You know, sometime you ask yourself if Muhammad being truthful or extremely truthful now. St something strange. Do you, do you see how he described his own party? Something strange. Why Muhammad he called his religion something strange? Is that because it's so stupid? Is that because it's so awkward? Is that because only it's fit for somebody who have mental illness? Something strange. Not my words. Not my words. And we'll revert of being something strange. So Islam now is not in the same stage it was in the time of Muhammad. <laughs> we'll go back. This is your translation, not mine. It is narrated in the authority of Ibn Umar. And look, you know, he focused with me with the word authority. <laughs> the authority of farting. You know, Al-Khomeini, he made fun of the Muslim Sunni. He said to them, you have the biggest libraries of bathroom, which means from penis and down. Just search, go and search for something about penis. Anus you will find endless numbers of reference. So a Shia are making fun of the Sunni. However, the Shia are not better. I think their library about penis is even bigger. So it's narrated from the authority of Ibn Umar. This is Sahih Hadith. Verily Islam started as something strange and it would again revert between two brackets to the old position. Thank you, translator for being of being strange just as it started and it would recede recede between the two mosques just as a serpent crawled back into its hole who said that muhammad who described islam as a serpent muhammad who is a Muhammadan he dare to call me and explain to me why your prophet described Islam as a serpent? What about like a lion? I mean, there's many animals. Donkey. Hmm? Bird. I mean, all, all of those, they have houses. Each one of them have different name for the house of the animal. Okay, why your prophet did not describe Islam as a rat? I mean, why a snake? If if the issue is the hole in the ground, you got a point there. But then the third, Muhammad, he described the Quran, he described the Hadith, he described the Islamic faith as a snake. And then the reason, because Islam came as a snake from the ground, and Islam is going to go back in the ground. What the heck is that? Who would like to call me and tell me where Muhammad he got his beautiful description from? If we go in the Old Testament, we will find that the serpent is Satan, presents Satan. The serpent presents Satan. So 
So did Muhammad choose Satan to present his religion? Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. CP, call me. Give me your Skype. If you are a Muslim, I will call you. Don't tell me, call me. Anyone? So, if you convert to Islam, you are converting to the serpent faith. Who said so? Muhammad. You want to prove me wrong? But afraid. Any Muhammadan? CP, you are a goat? No problem, you can call me whatever you want. But as I know, all your prophet names have to do with animals. As an example, Muhammad's last name is Kilab, which means dogs. His wife, who took her from his son, she is the daughter of Jash, which means donkey. I don't know. I mean, how a donkey can marry a dog, I have no idea. So don't try to insult me, because remember, Welcome, my friend from Batangas. You don't have a Skype, you have WhatsApp? No, oh, this is a Muslim, he does not, he don't have WhatsApp, so he want to talk to me, but he have only WhatsApp. You know, when, uh, when the angel came to Muhammad in the cave, did he squeeze him and Muhammad said to him, what's up? Or Muhammad did not say what's up. I mean, this guy is so stupid when he make a story. A man came to you in the cave. And by the way, Muhammad, he cannot repeat the story, same story twice correctly. In different place, he says, Jibreel came to him out of the cave. So which one? Any problem. So the angel, he squeezed Muhammad three times. Did Muhammad say to him even what's up? Have you ever heard of somebody being squeezed by a different man? And he said to him, he said nothing. Why shouldn't you say to him, why are you are squeezing me? Stop squeezing me, stop touching me. Was it normal for Muhammad to be squeezed by men at that time? If you read the story, you will see that Muhammad did not even complain. He did not even ask him, Who are you? He did not even say to him, Why you are who are you man why you are squeezing me a very no normal conversation and then Muhammad the one who Muslims they tell us he was bewitched is the trustworthy for the Muslim the guy bewitched he imagined things happening look at the story in front of you Aisha she said who is Aisha this is the Aisha you know is Aisha Muhammad, he said, take the half of your religion from Hadith al from this donkey. The Prophet continue for such and such period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives, in, and in fact, he did not. Well, if you flood the chat, I know you are insulting me, the one who called himself Christian Prince, but you flood the chat, I'm going to block you. Next time, come back with your parents. Do we have any brave Muhammadan? Tell me how in the world I can listen to a person, even his sex is fake. And you know, by the way, when Muhammad is having sex, but not with his wives, he was having sex with who? 
any Muhammadan can tell us how we can even trust this guy this guy you you Muslims are saying to us that this person is illusionate and he see things never happen anyone anyone watch a movie it's called the perfect host anyone saw it this guy he write letters to himself and he send them to himself the story is very interesting this guy even he imagined that he had people coming to his house having dinner a criminal who did bank lab in a robbery he uh, uh, he was running between the houses and then he saw uh, this house he looked at the mailbox he found a letter sent from a girl to this guy so he took the letter now he knew the name he opened the letter and then he knocked at the door and he says I am sent to you by your fiance she sent you you know she told me she sent you a letter from Australia did you have it but the guy, he's writing the letter to himself. He's mentally ill. And if you watch the video, you will see that he is, he invite people to the house, but there's nobody. And he have sex with them. That is Muhammad. The perfect prophet. The second I saw this movie, actually, I right away, I got the conclusion, man, this is a story about Muhammad. He write letters to himself, he put it in the mailbox, he receive it, he open it, he claim he received a letter from his girlfriend. If you have time, react to Zakir Naik. I mean, I don't like those videos about reacting. I find him very funny, react. What react? I mean, this guy is an idiot. He said to her, first of all, you are reading the book of John, and John is not Allah, is not God. But John is this disciple. He is a he's a he's in the Christianity, his disciple, and Muslim they take what Muhammad said, he's a disciple. <laughs> Muhammad himself is the messenger of Allah. John is the messenger of Jesus. Jesus is God in Christianity. So the stupidity is amazing. So if you don't accept the words written by a messenger, why you accept what Muhammad say? John is a messenger. Even the stupid Quran says that the disciple of Jesus are prophet of Allah and they are sent by Allah. Go to the Quran here. <laughs> Then go here and laugh at the stupid Muhammad. Isn't it? This is a verse speaking about the disciple of Jesus. They are the messenger of Allah. And not only that, one of them is John. And the second one is Peter. And the strongest one is Paulus, which means Paul. This is the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 14. And my friend, this is why they don't dare to call me. Because they knew we have all their laundry here. Do this guy, potato, Zakir, the Quran, and Yuka, dare even to speak to me? Do you dare? Do you have a Korean translation from my book? Yes, actually I do, but we did not pub I did not publish it yet. So maybe in a few months from now we will have the book published. Just wait for it. I will announce it when it's done. Otherwise the book is ready. It's translated. Uh, the file and the, the book is edited and I hope soon we will be able to 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 uh, publish it in Korean language <clears throat> do we have any Mohammedan may they may you will see every Muslim insulting Paul 
and their stupid books. Do you remember when Mimi Hijabi says, did you say, did you say that uh, Paul is sent by Allah? You know, this is Ibn Kathir reported from etc. This guy is the truth. So why Ibn Kathir is quoting him? And not only Ibn Kathir, and then I gave him a book, different book, and the stupid uh, uh, Mimi Hijab. He was saying, Ibn Kathir, I said, you stupid idiot. I'm not even quoting for you Ibn Kathir no more. This is a different book. He told the Muslims he would debate me, but he don't dare. He start asking me a question, hang up, ask a question, hang up. <laughs> Do we have any brave Muhammadan who dare to call us? Well, my friend GW, you can contact me in Patreon and maybe you can help in the translation of the other book because we have only the deception of Allah translated. So contact me in Patreon and maybe you can help in translating Quran and science and the rest. I will appreciate that. And if you do that, I'm going to give you like one month supply of kimchi. Made by Allah. <laughs> hey Muslims, if a Korean he convert to Islam, is he going to have kimchi in the heaven of Allah? You know, actually, if you look at the at the uh, at the promise of Allah in the Quran, you will die laughing. Have you ever heard of a God he promised banana? I mean, are you sure? Huh? Banana? Really? Why Allah, he promised me banana in the Quran? Uh, <laughs> I like it, really. I always I wanted to go to heaven where banana is there. Hmm? What about making a kimchi, uh, you know, like a, a store, like a Korean who come become born to Islam? Uh, you know, they will get kimchi. What banana? Look at this guy here, he translated every Muslim, by the way, he give you different name for the tree. <laughs> Among talah trees with a flower or fruits uh, 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 piled one above, what the heck? They are piled above other. We change the translator, hold on. This is Yusuf Ali. Uh, Shakir. Oof. In Shakir Ali, he become banana. Do you see how fast the transformation? The fastest transformation in the translation. <laughs> Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, uh, okay, you know, if you have, if you have the. Uh, translation for the six millions send it to me in uh, in the patreon just make you can make a comment public comment and post the link now we'll check it out do we have any muhammadan would like to call us i like banana seriously but I don't talk about that in front of atheists because once I was debating a smart atheist and he asked me if I like banana. I said, yes, I made a mistake. I was honest. He said, see, this is the proof that originally you are a monkey. And this is how we won the argument. The monkey argument. By the way, according to Islam, monkeys are Muslims. I mean, look at this stupid religion. The atheists, they tried to prove to us that a human they used to be monkeys, which is very stupid. The Muslim, they tried to prove to us that monkeys used to be human. Let's go and see. Not only that, monkeys are Muslim who practice Sharia law. 
They are very conservative monkeys. Absolutely. There's a story of a female monkey. May Allah curse her. She was cheating her beautiful chimpanzee husband. And you know, imagine you are a monkey and you have a beautiful, handsome chimpanzee husband who have his he have red ass. And what she do? If you see the whole story, by the way, this is just this is not the story. The story is hilarious. You can see it in my book, Six and Allah. So he was sleeping over her arm. And then she saw this young, sexy, hot, and he have a big banana. Don't take me wrong, I'm talking a real banana now. And he blinked at her, you know? So she took her arm slowly from under the head of the husband. And the poor husband. And what she do? She go behind the tree and they do play bing bong. Islamic logic a Muslim monkey she was stoned for fornication brother shouldn't you stone Muhammad he fornicate with everybody isn't it Islam is religion of fornication any Abdul this is a monkeys and they are conservative Muslim isn't this is beautiful? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul would like to join us? Until now, zero Abdul. The only Abdullah who call us is Fakira. Which is mentally ill. You know, this is why I advise men never, never. You know, the man now he thought what? He thought he's sleeping over her arm. So where she will go? You know? Man, you don't know what women they can do. Look what happened to Muhammad and Aisha. She was sleeping with Safwan. And then. After many witnesses, they saw Aisha with Safwan, three witnesses. Muhammad, he changed the Quran and he make it four witnesses. If the one who saw her four, he will make them five. If the one who saw her five, they will be six. If he, the one who saw her ten, he will make it eleven. Allah, he waited more than five weeks to make a verse in the Quran, says those who they are accusing Aisha. They are liars. Hmm. You see Muslims are posting comment and they are getting aggressive, but they cannot call me. I don't know why. You know, remember, if you call me, do you know what you will get? Endless penis, small testicles. I mean, how Muhammad, he promised you endless penis, but he never thought about increasing the size of the testicles. So imagine your penis is going all the way to China and your testicles is like in the size of an egg. I am truly convinced that Islam is a truly from God because I found where the sun set. All my life I was going, I, I was in a search, trying to find where the sun set. And then you know what? Finally, the only one who can give you answer for all your questions about geography, science, Allah. Until he, when he reached the place where the sun set, the place, he reached a place, take, take a note. He reached a place where, it's a place where the sun set. He found it. Hmm. Who is talking? Allah. Hmm. Do we have any brave Muslim? I have an idea for you, Muhammadan. 
you can if you are a Muhammad and have a big channel and you are telling your the the potatoes who listen to you that Christian Prince will hang up on me you can do this you can call me and you are live and if I hang up on you people will laugh so you go live people will hear you so give me your Skype I will call you invite all oh, don't, don't bring them here if you want let them stay in your channel for safety reason you don't want to Muslim to leave Islam right away who there I will call you you do not need to call me and the one who hesitate is the one who coward any Muhammadan <clears throat> and how the Muslim they explain this verse brother Thitar, if you go to the ocean you see the thumb going inside the ocean but in fact all of us we know that the thumb is not going to the ocean what ocean what are you and look look by the way look how they corrupt the translation look it says the black sea but in Arabic it says a spring a spring of water look at the translation they made it they made the word a spring a sea we change the translator this is who this is Shakir just to show you the scumbags trying to duct tape the garbage of Muhammad notice with me before I change the translation it does it say sea or I'm making things up it says sea black go down in a black sea it's in front of you all what we need to do we change the translator this is Shakir we will choose and all of them are Muslims Hilali and Khan okay so is it a black sea Oof. it becomes spring of water I will tell you why because there's a global warming there's a global warming brother it was a black sea and now became a spring of water everything is drying out there's a drought so in Arabic it says in a dirty boiling water in the translation they make it a black sea and this is what Zakir Naiki said brother what an idiot it says a spring of a blood how he found the Sun going in the black muddy water of a spring they tried to fool you says don't you see the Sun going in the ocean what ocean it says a spring of water Do we have any Muhammadan? Who dare to call me and stay a Muslim? And then the Muslim, they try to fix it. <coughs> they say, the Quran is saying, he found it as if it is sitting. Ooh, that's deep. Now I know what's happening. Allah, he forgot to add as if. Mm. Allah, he forgot. You know, he found it as if. Let us let us fix the Quran. As. I'm typing in Arabic. Come on. As that is as this is not as I mean uh, English is funny it I just one letter can change the whole thing from as to as you know well it, it fit perfectly there this is as talking but anyway this is wrong the Muslim now they will be angry as if it is sitting in a spring of muddy water now the Quran after duct tape look better Is that right, Muslims? As if it is. Yeah, the sun taking a deep dive, like yesterday.
Oh boy. Any Abdul? Hmm. Who is a Mohammedan would like to call me and let us add together as if it is to many verses in the Quran. So as, you know, the, the sperm is coming from the backbone as if it's coming from the backbone. The sperm is coming from the ribs as if it's coming from the ribs of the women. The sun, uh, you know, rise as if it's rising, as, as, you know, may Allah ask you. Mr. Yahweh is coming. I don't know what are you talking about, my friend, but sometime we, as if I blocked you. So what? Change your name and come back. Maybe there's a misunderstanding. As if there is misunderstanding. Take it easy. Do I know he was talking to me in this chat? So if you are blocked by me, think about it this way. As if you are not blocked yet. Okay? And if I misunderstood you, think about it in even more beautiful way. As if I did not misunderstood you. You know? I mean, just use as if is, it is, as you wish. It will help you with many things. Like, if your wife, she is not good looking. Imagine as if it is beautiful. If your wife, uh, she don't like you because you are the one ugly. Imagine that as if it is she like you and you are not ugly. So if your mother-in-law, she hate you, imagine as if it is she is not there. Here we go. I solve all your problems in your life. What do you want more? You have a problem with your bills? Imagine as if it is you can have a lot of money and you can pay them all. That's it. It's solved. Prophet Muhammad solved our problems. The Muslims solve it as if it is. What do you want more? Very easy. Take it easy. Any Mohammedan from the religion of as if it is? You know, when Muhammad was having sex with his wives, but in fact he did not. Isn't it this is exactly what as if it is about? I mean, everything in this religion is about as if it is. The prophet was having sex for real or as if it is sex. And if he did not have real sex, so he was having what? You know, Muhammad remind me of a man. He is very, very heavy sleeper. So in the middle of the night, you know, he woke up. If you can say the word woke up, still he's asleep. He want to go to the bathroom. So he went to the bathroom and he came back. And then after he slept, like a thought came to his head and he said, honey, I said, what? I'm sleeping. Don't talk now. He said, usually when we open the bathroom door, does the light turn on by itself? It was the refrigerator. And this is Muhammad. He go and he put his penis in the refrigerator and he think this is his wife's. Prove me wrong. Does the door, does, does it, when we open the door, the light come automatically in the bathroom? Muhammadans? Hmm? You're a prophet, obviously, is suffering from the same situation. The difference, he is not asleep, according to you. So what door he was opening? This guy was opening the door of the refrigerator. Muhammad was opening the door of who? And he was putting his private part where? That is a good, serious question. Who dare to answer it? And where is Allah, the one who protects the Prophet? And everybody is making fun of this Prophet. 
the prophet and the black magic the prophet his penis is not working the prophet he cannot have sex the prophet having sex with the wrong people think he have sex with his wife so i mean can you name for me one thing about this man is is, is right any muhammadan until now zero muhammadan dare to call me As if, as if, are you serious, Muslims? What about the hadith? Your prophet, he says that the sun set in murky water, a spring of murky water. As if, maybe your prophet is in, he is not, you know. Uh, let's see, where is, where is, uh, here we go. This is the hadith. Where is the as if? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Who is a Muhammadan would like to join us? Six million Muslims live in Islam a year. More than 600 a day. And you make a big party because a little priest in a church and you call him a major priest. The word the priest in the Orthodox Church means the lowest. And nobody will convert to Islam unless he have a mental illness or a pervert. Just to show you how pervert Muhammad is. We made a video just yesterday about the wicked Muhammad, correct? Is it, is it right if you see a man and he is married, happily married? Is it right to tell him Why you married a previously married woman? Why you don't marry a child? So you can suck her saliva. And look how the Muslim translate suck her saliva. Why don't you have a licking? Liking should be sucking for the virgins. For fondling them? What? In Arabic it says, وَلِعَابِهَا He is tempting the man to go and fondle children's and suck their saliva true or make we are making things up the man said to muhammad you know what? I did not want to have a little child as a wife. Because already my brother, he left me seven or eight orphans. And I did not like the idea of marrying someone in their age. And what is the excuse for Muhammad, the wicked man, to seduce a man to leave his wife, who is adult, mature, to go and marry a child? So you play with her. How nice. Isn't it this is beautiful? A pervert. Literally a pervert. And as you see, this is very authentic hadith. They cannot say, you know, this is not true. And the man, he make it even more clear. I did not approve marrying a girl in their age like them he have orphans read carefully the man he answered saying after muhammad told him why you don't marry a child not a young girl so she could sport with you 
and you could sport with her and you could amuse with her and she could amuse with you pervert I said to him Abdullah he died and I and left nine or seven daughters behind I therefore did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them children's a pervert so who is going to accept Islam unless he is a pervert or ignorant stupid so I choose I prefer to bring a woman do you see it guys this is not my words this is the Muhammadan translation and this is the very authentic hadith so I preferred to bring a woman who should look after them and teach them good manner not one like them do you see it the man is not even complaining he's going home he's in a rush to go home obviously he like his wife what Muhammad do he tried to tempt him by marrying children and questioning his decision questioning your de imagine what do you think if you are a woman and somebody come to your house and he told your husband why you marry this woman man huh why you don't go after a child you play with her you give her a candy she do anything you want she for a candy not like a woman she, you know you need to do a lot of things to prove that you are a real man a child a candy hmm? a toy the child will be happy she will be amused with you and you will be amused with her pervert this is what the pervert is about pervert pedophiles they love the children's for a very simple reason they don't know anything so you can fool them so easy give them a candy little toy and the pervert will enjoy their saliva any Muhammadan notice until now not a single Muhammadan there to prove us wrong you know when the Lord he said that from their fruits you shall know them I want you to leave a comment later and tell me what do you think about the fruit of Muhammad trying to tempt a man who is happily married to go after children just to play with them and abuse them don't forget to subscribe if you are new and if you are old in the channel don't forget to unsubscribe and don't forget to make a like if you like and don't forget to make a dislike if you don't like because people don't know you know you need to tell them what to do which is weird right away if you are a Christian and you see someone doing the right thing you do not need people to tell you what to do if you are the kind who need people to, to tell you what to do that's mean you do not know what to do in your life and everything and that will bring your mother-in-law to your life do we have any Muhammadan I will give you warning men if you don't give a like in the coming 60 seconds I'm going to call every one individual of you his mother-in-law. I will ask Allah to make enmity between you and your mother-in-law. Have you ever heard of a God? He spread hatred and enmity and he claimed to be God. So why he came? What, what is the point of this religion? To spread hatred and enmity. So if Allah is the one who spread hatred and enmity, what the devil does for a living? Anyone can tell me? You are not married? Just wait, I just put you in my list, I will get you a wife. All right? I will convert you to Islam in two seconds, you can get a wife. 
Islamic saying you are not a really Christian. Uh huh. You see, the funny is when you are a nice person, a nice Christian, the Muslim make fun of you. <laughs> Christianity is a stupid. <laughs> The second you start spanking their prophet, you are not a really Christian. So they make fun of you when they think you are a really Christian. And they ask you to come back to become a really Christian again. The second you start spanking their faithy prophet. What say you? But the sister, first of all, Christian prophet is not a real Christian. And the reason is a Christian because simply every day he thanks Prophet Muhammad. Exactly, yeah, isn't it? Allah, he says, Christian prophet, first of all, I don't speak Arabic. Secondly, I don't know Arabic. Number three, I don't understand the word in Arabic. Number four, what are you saying? Number five, how I know what you are saying? Number six, if you translate, how I can trust what you are saying? Number seven, Zakir Naik, just man, hold on. I just quote for you a verse in the Quran. That's all. And the verse says, Allah stop anyone who laugh at the Prophet. Are you sure? <laughs> did he? He must have, did he? Or it was a false statement in the Quran. So what we are doing now? If Allah, he stopped Everybody who make fun of Muhammad, what I am doing exactly, and millions of people before me and after me would do. Zakir Naik, chapter 15, verse number 95. Now you know what I'm saying. Christian Prince, by the way, Allah is saying that Allah, he top all those who are making fun of Prophet. You are not making fun of Prophet. What the heck? What do you mean? I will explain to you. You say the Prophet is a liar. That did not make him fun. Okay, I agree. You say that the Prophet has sex with his children. That did not make him fun. You are stating a fact. Oh, okay. I got a point there. Exactly. I got you, Prophet. And it's recorded. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Do we have any Muhammadan? Was this promise from Allah? Is it true? Or it was a fabrication? How Allah, he says, truly... We suffice those actually translation. Look at the translation. Look at the translation. I mean, horrible. Let us see different, different potato. The Arbery. Ah, we suffice thee against the mockers. That's better. Do you see it? Against the mocker. www.mockingmohammed.com. Did Allah suffice thee? Did he? Terrorism, threat, violence is not working. Find something else. Any Abdul? Who wants some Greek coffee? Anyone want some green coffee? Once my neighbor he said to me, what are you drinking? So I said, do you want to try? And man, the guy, he said he could not sleep all night. For me, I drink like seven, eight cups of those a day. And uh, what seven? I mean, everyone, hold on. This one fit for four. Yeah, about 16. 16 is small, a Greek cup. Yeah, exactly. A woman, Matt, Matt is saying, what about the girl she offered, uh, Muhammad, he asked her to offer herself. And she said to him, how a queen she offer herself to the law lawless. How a queen she offer herself to the lowest. She described Muhammad as the lowest. And she was right. And this is the hadith in front of you. And this is Sahih. This is the wife of Muhammad. He claimed now she's his wife. She's his.
The Muslim, they add, give yourself in marriage. False. Give yourself to me, which take off your clothes. She said, how a queen, not a princess, false translation, give herself to a lower, a, a, a lawless. I don't know if I'm saying, not ordinary man. I mean, look at the false translation. They have no dignity. A suqa. How a queen she offer herself to the trash. False translation. No shame. Mr. Z, one more time. You keep saying CP, I need your help. I will block you. You are getting the help. That's why I'm here. So shut up. Until now, you did not even ask a question. You keep saying, I need your help. I want to talk to you. I need your help. Do we have any Mohammedan? And we can take the word in Arabic and put it in the dictionary. You know, and you will see. Yeah, Abdul, his name is Abdul. <laughs> Let us see how long he will stay there anyway. Do we have any Mohammedan? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean myself, I don't like the debate if they would. would he do not know how to, how to debate. Both of them, they do not know how to debate. Anyway, I wish them a good luck. You are lying about the Prophet. May Allah guide you. Sound like Fakira. You see, when you debate Muhammad, and you need to learn how to do it. Hello? Hello? How are you, my friend? You are a Muslim? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, so what do why you want to say to us? Why are you lying about the Holy Prophet? Why? But, like what? What I said? You said... Uh, uh, he, he rape women. He he do he does this. He does that. Mm. Do you know you do you know you can be thrown in fire. He in do what? Hell? He do what? You know you you know he, he, you said he 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 raped a lot of women. He he did this. He did that. You are lying about him. Okay. How how you know I'm lying? I believe you are lying. Okay. What if I show what if I show reference? He, he is the best of mankind. No problem. What if I show proof so from your books? You know all this. You are hold on, hold on. Like, um, what if, if I show my friend, my friend? In Nigeria, if you do this, they, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be in big trouble. My friend, gonna, if I go to Nigeria, Nigeria will be in big trouble, not me. I'm asking you. What if I show you reference from your books that Muhammad he did rape women? Uh, what book in the Quran or where? In the Hadith. Uh, let let me see. Okay, but if I show you what you would do before I show you. Uh, if you if you show me then I'm gonna respect you. That's it? I, I I'm gonna respect that at least you said the truth, right? But you don't just stay on the T V and uh, start uh, insulting calling no, calling him uh, names, no, you know? I don't want uh, you are saying to me I'm going to respect you. Uh, do you think I'm here coming hey, for? No, I'm going to respect you for being honest. No, no, but what, what you will. So listen, you are calling me and saying to me, the prophet did not rape. So what if the prophet he rape? What you will do? I will. I you just show me. Show me. Let me see. You no, know, I will show you. I promise you. What you will do if I show you? This is the question. Are you just saying show me and then I respect no, you? What I get no, from that? It's no matter of being like you need evidence, right? You need evidence for no something. problem, evidence. my friend, my friend. I know. Okay, so now I will, I will put the, I, I will put the evidence. To all our Islamic books, there is no way you cannot say the only prophet. No something. problem, but I'm if saying. there is, what you would do? So what? What do you want? What do you want me to say? I don't you know. Are you going to stay? Are you going to stay as a Muslim if Muhammad is, de is he did that? And then, uh, then I'll start questioning. I'll start questioning. It's not. Oh, you will uh, start questioning. Yeah, I'll start questioning. So okay. I want to see. I want to see that the Islamic book said this is not matter of uh, 
maybe you are talking about another uh, a book invented by the Christians. You know, you mm. people are just something different. I don't know. All right. But your question will lead you into what? You you think you will leave Islam if I read it for you? Please, you show me. Let me see something right. first. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do you know Arabic? Hello? Do you know Arabic or I have to start, find it for you in English? Hello? Do you know Arabic or I have to find it to you in English? You have to find it to me in English. All right. Most Nigerians don't speak uh, Arabic. All right. Let us see first. We'll try to find it first in English, and then, if not, we oh. will find it for you. Yeah, you know, and people will be witness, because if I could not find you the reference, uh, you have the right to laugh at me, correct? Uh, it doesn't matter. You have to. No, it matter. No, no, it matter. No, no. You don't no, just see. No, my friend, it matter. I want you to laugh at me, if I could not find the reference, because that means yeah, I'm lying. Yeah, I need to see. Okay. I need to see. Uh, let us see. I have I have the reference actually already in front of me, but in Arabic. But let me let me start first with the Arabic and then we will go to the English. Try to find in English. Sure. But I will use I will use Google Translation in the front of your eyes. This is the book of Asiran Nabawiya, volume number two. Do you see my screen? Yeah, I can I can see, but it's too it's too large on my screen. You, okay. Is there any way you can send it to me too? I will send it to you, no problem. Here we go. Let me let me send you a link. Give me a second. You can open it in your side and you can use Google Translation if you don't mind. Yeah, um, 340. Okay, I gave you the link. Use Google Translation. And now I'm going to use Google Translation. Translate to Google. You can translate it for me, please. Let me see. Yeah, you can use Google Translate in your side. Just you open it yeah, in, in Google Browser. This, this okay. one is for later. This one yeah. is for later. So Muhammad, he just killed the Jews. You know? What? Uh, which Jews were that? Was it the Banu, Banu Kanuka Banu Yeah. And now he took Sophia. And the Muslim, they claim that now she is his wife. But how she is his wife? Listen carefully. He just took her from her husband. He just took her from her husband. He killed her husband. Read carefully with me. Abu Ayyub was in the front of the tent. Muhammad, he just killed her family half hour ago. So when Muhammad, he went out in the morning from his tent, he said to him, what's wrong with you, Abu Ayyub? He said, oh, Messenger of Allah, I feared for you from this woman. And she was a woman who you killed her father and her husband and her people. Do you see it? Hmm. Did he marry her? Or he just took her from her husband? He, he just killed her husband. I know, but uh, according to uh, our sheikhs, what they told uh, us about this situation was 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 that uh, this, uh, that he married out of pity. After what? Yeah, out of pity, out of pity that the, the parents, they gang up against the prophet. What parents? He just killed her husband. She is not a kid. It says in the front of you, you killed her father. Even he killed even her brothers. He killed her people. You killed her husband. And not only that, she is she is a bride. She is a bride. She just get married. He killed her. He killed her family. He raped her. And in the same night, he just took her. And you know, according to Islam, you have to wait 
three months to be sure that the woman she is not carrying a child from the previous man correct So not only uh, but, he raped uh, her, but, uh, but please, I'm I'm trying to understand something. I, like, is there any way they said uh, he had he had sex with the with 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 her immediately? This is the he, he did not go home yet. He just he attacked her <laughs> attacked her town. He took the he took her. He is in the tent. Don't you see? It's a tent. Muhammad don't live in a tent. Yeah. Okay. They are. He stayed, they are, they he are, stayed there with her. Huh? He stayed there because there's this there's this adage that I read one time. I don't know if it is a uh, Muslim or Sahih Bukhari. They said the Prophet stayed with her for three days. It's not like stayed with her for three days. It doesn't make a difference if it's three days or three hours. He said stayed. Stayed is different from sleeping with somebody. Say stayed with her for three days. Why why stayed. he is staying with her? You know, is are you allowed in Islam to have a woman in your bed? Uh, and she is not your wife. No. And where where it says he stayed with her? Can you show me? What stayed with so her? I, what do you mean I, stayed with her? Hmm? Just hold on, please. One second. Okay. So your prophet, he took women against their will. You said to me, show me where the prophet he raped. How, do you think if a man killed you, God forbid, and he took your wife, your wife, she would like to be his wife or to sleep with him? I'm coming. Huh? I'm coming, I'm looking. I'm no, looking I'm asking for... you now. You can look uh, in, your, in your way. Yeah. Do you think a woman, you just killed her father, her parents, her family, her tribe, all of them. Do you think a woman, she will be happy yeah, to the, sleep with the, the man? The story who... was that they gang up against the Holy Prophet. They gang up, gang up against him. He can that what? was what happened. He can what? Because I know the, the husband of Sophia was uh, Kinana. Uh -huh. Kinana. Exactly. The guy, they okay. gang up. They gang up against the he, Holy he's, Prophet. His what? His what? I said they ganged up against the Holy Prophet. So they what if he's against? We are talk you see, you're asking me, uh, all of them, they are against him. I am against him. Is that giving you a reason to rape my wife, if I have a wife? All right, please. I, um, let me just try to check this thing, because I saw this. Um... Was Safiya, this woman, was she happy? For what Muhammad okay. did? Are you are you saying the Holy Prophet is uh, is a bad person, or because I, I don't understand? No, I'm not saying he's a bad person. I'm saying he is the. This is not really. This is not. I'm really not saying he clear. is a bad person. I'm saying he is a very extremely satanic man. The woman he just took her. The woman she was putting dust and dirt in her head. Do you know how much search he is? Okay, okay please. Can you check uh, Sa'i al-Bukhari 42.12? Okay, Bukhari. Sa'i Sa al-Bukhari 42.12. 42.12. All right. This is the book of Al-Maghazi. Okay, what about it? Uh, he said the, 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 the Holy Prophet Sallallahu It says he slept with her. Stayed, stayed with... No, Sophia it says it says he slept. No, it stayed. says he slept with her. No, it says stayed. My friend, no, it says wa a hatta a rasabiha. In Arabic. Uh huh. Ah. Here we go. So, are you telling me that this translation is wrong? What the translation is saying? No, he said uh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It says, hold, read, read with me, read, read with me. This is your translation. Read your translation. The Prophet stayed with Safiya, been to Huyay, for three days in the way to Khaybar, where he consummated his marriage with her. There's no marriage, he effed her. Where he did it? In the way. This is the hate you gave me.
This is your choice, correct? So where he stepped with her? In the way. He, but this sound, this sound like the marriage is on already. He said where he con consummated his marriage. My friend, what marriage? marriage? You just took her against her will. You killed her husband. You killed her family. And now you are called marriage? <laughs> and not only that, the women she was, like when, when this happened, the women she was putting dirt and shit in her head. She was screaming. And even Muhammad, he called him shaitan. He said, Keep this shaitan away from me. Don't you know? Hmm. Have you ever heard of a book? It's called Ibn Kathir. Yeah, I, I know Ibn Kathir. I know Ibn Kathir. Okay. What, what Ibn Kathir he say about his story? Do you know? No, I never checked about it because this is not... Uh, it's only this... Uh, even when the, the, the situation between him and, 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 and Zaid happened... This is different that from Zaid. And what about Zaid? Zaid yeah. is the same. Zaid is the same. But the difference is, Zaid is a man. He have no choice. Muhammad, because he cannot have kids. His wife, she forced him to adopt a son. And why he... And then he, he married her to a woman he liked. So he can have access to the house. What do you think if I go to visit my oh, son? Uh, how can you say? How can you say the prophet cannot have kids? Why do? Why do you Hold say on. that? He cannot about, have kids. What about uh, Fatima? What about the Ibrahim? They never the have boy kids. They never they have kids. The okay, hold on. Ibrahim. If Fatima, if Fatima is the daughter of Muhammad, are you going to go and wash naked in the front of your daughter? Where did that happen? What if I show you? When she was when she was young, maybe like a baby or. What baby? She was holding the curtain for him. Baby. You wanna you wanna duct tape what happened to Muhammad baby now? No, no, I said it, it might be when a little child, right? Maybe at uh, three years old or something. Any parent can see this. Okay, so you are right? now saying to me the prophet he was taking a shower naked, and his daughter, which is a three years old, she was holding a curtain around him. So how old was she? Hmm? How old was she? I don't know. You tell me. Because you know why? Everything um, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did in his time, everything was like he didn't do anything from his from his own will. He did it by the will of Allah. My friend, my friend. What will of Allah? What You see, you are trying now to duct tape again. Here we go. This is your Prophet. Let me find the hadith in English. If this is his daughter, there's no way a man, he will expose his Gentile in front of his daughter. Obviously, your prophet was having sex with Fatima too, the daughter of Khadija. And this is the hadith in front of you. You said to me, maybe she was three years old. What three years old? A three years old can hold the curtain to cover the, the man who is, uh, 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 is, is a showering? Do you see the hadith? I went to the Messenger of Allah during the year of conquest and I found him performing ghusl. He's taking a shower. While Fatima was screening him with a, a garment. Please, what, what hadith is this one? What hadith is this one? Because this, I know there are a lot of uh, false hadith. This is sahih. This is sahih. Let me see. It. Let me see. It. It's in the front know. of you. Okay. Because, uh, okay, can you send me the reference, please? No problem. I will send you the, the link. Have all the reference for it, not only one hadith. Here we go. I just search for the hadith in the website and it give me all the links. Here we go. All of them, those are Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Atamidi, Jami Atamidi. Okay. No, this is Sahih Muslim too. If you find, scroll down, you will find Sahih Muslim. Scroll down, you will see Al Bukhari. Al Bukhari. Do you take bath with your daughter naked? Uh, see, okay. Uh, what I'm saying is that you see. 
if you have a um, a two year old or a three year old, there's nothing bad in my friend. She is off. screening him, screening him. Two years old, she can't cover even your knee. How she is uh, a screen him and she is two years old. And Fatima, she was two years old in the time of the quest when, when he occupied Mecca. <laughs> His wife, she is dead long time ago. Isn't she the daughter of Khadija? <laughs> you want a duct tape? So Muhammad, he don't, he don't, you know, you this see, guy, uh, this guy, he had, have, his see, guy, Muslim, my friend, my friend, most, most, see, listen, Muslim listen, 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 if you want to take a shower, if you want to take a shower, you are prophet of Allah. I'm asking you, do you ask your daughter to be with you in the, when you are taking a shower naked? It depends on the age. Okay, let me tell you one thing. Hmm. You see, if, if my mom is taking a bath, right? Right. If what? Yeah, when she's, I'm talking about. We uh, Muslim, we don't see this as a problem, right? If she's taking a bath, she can because her hand cannot reach her back. That was back in the days, right? She's gonna say, "Oh, can you help me use this point to reach my back?" No, no, no. And what what my that what my back? Different. And same time, hold on. You are a naked man. Are you saying to me, you as a Muslim man, you can bring your daughter to the bathroom so she can do your back? Why? I mean, if he isn't disability. I will say maybe. Was Muhammad disabled? No. And she is not doing his back. She is holding the curtain for him. Okay, you know. It's, now listen, uh, listen, I, listen. I'm going. I'm going to make things easier for you. Can you give me one good thing about Muhammad? I, I don't want to show you bad things. No, he 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 he, he was a good man. He gave okay, give me, give me one, to, give me uh, one good thing. A lot of people, okay, give me one good. Don't give have me. Money. He helped a lot of people. No, get, okay, give me how how he helped a lot and of people. He, he okay, did he help? Did he help his God. son? Did he help his son, his own son? Uh, well, actually, he didn't have any living son. Like it's only this uh, Zaid. See, exactly. I told you he cannot have kids. You said to me he yeah, had daughters. Actually, he cannot have kids. So listen, listen. No, like, this is another question. Okay. This is another question. Yeah, the question is, we, we did he help his son? Was, uh, did, he help, did he help his son by taking the wife from the son? He didn't take the wife. The, the son said, oh, I don't need of... Uh, I... No. Read the verse with me. Here we go. I will, I will show it to you on the screen. Allah told him... Muhammad, according to the verse, Muhammad being hypocrite. The man, he came to him after he heard his wife saying that your father was here and he flirted with me. And the hadith he flirted, says, he flirted with, with he, her? He flirted with her, with Zainab. Oh. Yeah. So he did not ask to leave her until he heard the news, obviously, that his father is sleeping with his wife. What do you say? If a man... Is this, is this uh, the Quran or what? This is the Quran in front of you now, chapter 33, verse number 37. And imagine Muhammad, he made a chapter claiming that Allah told him, why you don't tell the man what Allah, he told you that, you know, what is in your heart, you want her. So Allah is in the support of... Uh... Yeah, he's in support of fornication, taking the wife from the husband. For a man, he claimed to be a prophet, and the women already married. He have something in his heart for her, and she is what? She is now married. Surah Al-Azab, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, because I know, I know that uh, the uh, Allah made love for, for Muhammad to have some women from the cousin, ah. but I don't know if. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why Allah want to make love for him to take the wife of his son? What does that mean? Did he take the wife of this of his son, or the son said, "Oh, I don't need it anymore"? No, he took her. 
Let, uh, let me show you the reference. Here we go. Uh, you know, I don't say things. Remember, you are talking to Christian Prince. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. Look at the screen. Value number 14, page number 190. And here it says, and I will give you the link so you can open it from your side and you can use Google Translation. The beach. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Open it in Google Browser. And you will see that Muhammad, he came to the women when the husband, he was not there. And he said to her, so he saw Zainab, and I will use English translation in a second. فَأَبْصَرَ زَيْنَبَ قَائِمَ كَانَتْ بَيْضَاءٌ جَمِيلَ جَسِيمَ مِنْ أَتَمِّ نِسَاءِ قُرَيْشِ فَهَوِيهَا So he saw Zainab standing, and she was white, very white, and she is big. Because the Arab, they like, you know, big, big size women. In the world today, we use it fat. Uh, and she was from the most beautiful women of Quraysh. Fahawiha, so he failed on her. He failed. He want her. He have lost. Hawa, I mean lost. Waqal, subhanallahi muqallibul qulu. Praise be to Allah, the one who flipped my heart for you. So He said, praise be to Allah. Yes. So Zainab, she heard what he said. Praising Allah for liking her. You have lost. So she told her husband, Zaid. So Zaid, he got it. Oh boy, they are sleeping together. So he came now. Now he came to Muhammad, says to him, please let me divorce her father. She hurt me. She is very arrogant. She have a very bad tongue. What, uh, what book is this? Is it a This is al Qurtubi. Let me use Google Translation. Al Qurtubi. Okay. Let me use Google Translation. I give you the link. Interpretation right. of al Qurtubi, variant number 14, page number 190. All right? Yeah. Okay. Now we go. <laughs> and this is Google Translation. So oh, Zaid never complain. Uh, uh, Zaid never complain. Listen. Zaid never complain about his wife ever before. But when he heard that the wife and the father, they are doing monkey business together, he came to Muhammad and he slandered Zainab, saying, she have a bad mouth. She's arrogant. I don't like her. Please, let me divorce her. And what the hypocrite Muhammad he did? A second ago, he was there flirting with the wife. And now he's saying to him, no, no, man, keep, keep your wife, keep your wife. Do you see it? This is your books. This is not a book written by Christian Prince or even though I wrote many books, but this is not my book. This is your book. Those are your scholars. And we can show it to you from Bibli Kathir. I can show it from everywhere. So what do you think about a father? He come to the house of the son and he flirt with the wife when the wife, she is married in the house of the son. And you are saying to me, Muhammad is a good man. I say he's a very wicked man. What say you? I don't don't disrespect. Um, just, just um, let's just have this and uh, the conversation. You know. I don't care if you like it or not, my friend. I'm here to say the truth. I'm not here to sugarcoat things. He is a wicked man. You like it? You don't like it? You can hang up. You can you can run away from the truth. I'm, I did not say one word is not in front of you on the screen. And now you are saying to me, please don't disrespect. What kind of a man, he come to the house when the son is not there and he flirt with the wife when she is married? Is that the ethic you Muslim you claim that religion teaching you? And not only that, the hadith says that when Muhammad, he after he said that, Zainab, she said, Allah, he made a miracle. Each time her husband, he tried to have sex with her, Zaid. Allah, he made his penis swell. Ah, uh, when, ah, uh, oh, wait, which? Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. The miracle of Allah. The husband, he want to have sex with the wife. And Allah, he made the penis of the husband. Look at this. The same tafsir, but now I will show it to you from the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Al-Qurtubi. Yeah. 
all right and now we will search for the word tawarrama which means swell his penis is swell here we go uh, let me see it. according to the story according to the uh, narration and zaydan tawarrama dhalika minhu hina arada an yaqrubha she say here that Zainab she said that Zaid he tried to come to bed to do boom boom to her and then she, Zainab she said but he could not do it and he could not do it except that Allah he did not allow him to do it and then the narration continues saying and some of the story says that Zaid when he tried to have sex with his wife after the Prophet he flirted with his wife his penis is swelled. And now let us use Google Translation. Hmm. Hmm? So this is the same tafsir I could, I could be? Huh? This is al Qurtubi, yeah. This is al Qurtubi. This is official government website of Saudi Arabia. Let me give you the link. And you can use Google Translation. And you will see how Allah He made the husband penis as well. So swell. the husband who is lawfully married to this woman, Allah make his his penis his, his penis as well. And the the man who is not the husband, Allah He let his penis go inside her. And he was always called by everybody Zayd ibn Muhammad. So Muhammad, even he stands in the street, he says, from now on, remember, uh, uh, Zayd is from me and I am from Zayd. He is my son. What do you think? I'm trying to find out the English, the word is swell, where the word is swell. Uh, let us see if we search for the word. Where it says he tried to have sex with her, but he could not. Uh, but I, I, the way, according to the way uh, I, our Sheikh explained this situation, he said, "Oh, they, it was handed over peacefully, and there was no." Who cared about peacefully? I mean, what peacefully? The guy, he is, uh, uh, he is nobody. He will kill him, Muhammad. Uh, the guy okay, hold on, said, hold on, hold on. So, if, uh, anymore, a, a no gang, a, the biggest gang who have a big army, come into your house and he like your wife, and you are telling me peacefully. Because you know what's wondering me? Because as at this time he had a year about uh, maybe five wives or six wives. So uh, my friend, why are you are changing topic? Do you approve a man coming to the house of somebody else, even he is no. not? A, huh? No, no, it doesn't make. Um... Okay, so what we what we call this? How we describe it? But uh, is is there? Is there anything like in the Quran that is backing up all these, uh, that backs up all these uh, adits and tafsir? Why, why are you are trying to to avoid my no, question? No, because uh, so what I don't do you know, think, Muhammad? Of, Muhammad uh, flirting with the married women in the house of the husband, who is considered by him, not people say rumors. He is the one who shout, "This is my son." What do you think? Of a man, he do such a no, thing. Be it honest is true, with me. It's not a good thing. If it is true, if it's true, it's not a good thing. I, 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 this is not an answer. What good thing? Is, is is he a bad person or a good person? No, if it's true, is uh, I, I I don't know. I don't know what to say because I don't want to say something negative. What do you mean you cannot say something negative? You just say this is not good. So what we call that? Huh? It's uh, it's 
if if it's true, right? Uh, it's it's not a it's not a good thing for for a prophet to do. What does that mean? Why you don't want to tell me what the real description? He's a wicked man. Is that to behave a good man or a wicked man? If it's true, that's uh, that's a that's, that's a wicked person. You know? He's a wicked person. Thank you. A wicked person who go to the husband's house when the wife is alone, and the reason he is inside the house why? Because he is the father. Women, she will not allow a strange man to enter her house when she's alone. No, you know what's 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 because uh, Allah is putting uh, is interfering in this situation. That's that's what is that's what baffles me. You know. What, 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 what? So I am a prophet now. I can have sex with uh, women, married women. Yeah, because, I can know, take a wife from you. So the the, the, the privilege of all cult leader is the same. He want your women, literally, and your money, and he want the authority, the power. And Muhammad, he work for all. Did Muhammad he made a chapter in the Quran speaking about his sexual privilege only? Is that true? Where where? Well, sexual privilege. Actually, Where? I think in the same page we are reading, there is 16. Privilege. In the same page. Okay, Give it to what Muhammad. Privilege? Let me see. Let me see. 16 what? privilege. More than half of them is about sex. Can you do not you, need can to you pay. Show me? He do Can not you... need to pay. It's in the same page I gave you, Al-Qurtubi, the last one. Use okay. Google Translation. Okay. Well, I... You will see the privilege, number 6, number 8, number 7, number 10, number 11. Because it's later after this uh, after this conversation, I'm going to check everything. So that's why I want to... Six... What? 16 privileges. Why this prophet, he have special privilege about money and sex? What they have to do, isn't isn't it Muhammad a Muslim or he's above Islam? He's not above this. He's just a, a no. He is above a Muslim. He can have only four wives. A Muslim. He should not enter a house when the the the, the, the man is not there. A Muslim. He need witnesses for marriage. Muhammad. Uh, he did not. He don't need witnesses. Muhammad. He can have sexual intercourse without uh, any he, witnesses. He can have wives. It doesn't matter. What about uh, Sulaiman Ali Salam? How many wives does he have? Well, Suleiman, he he, so, you know, he was the idea he, of he, my friend, else's wife, my friend Suleiman, Suleiman, he was acting as a wicked man. It's not God who told him to go and have uh, those women. This is your friend. Here, Muhammad is claiming that Allah is the one who gave him permission. Suleiman was acting as a pervert king, and the Bible condemned him. There's a huge difference. Between somebody he repent and he ask for forgiveness for all the sin he did, and somebody he glor you know he is glorified for his sin. This is what you Muslim do. Read with me, all the privilege Muhammad he have, yeah. privilege only for him. He don't even need to pay dowry for women. Every Muslim have to pay dowry. Muhammad do not need to pay dowry. Every Muslim need witnesses. Uh -huh. Muhammad do not need witnesses. Every Muslim he cannot have more than four wives. Muhammad, he can have unlimited numbers of wives. Every Muslim, he have. To, it's all about sex. Look, all of those privileges about sex. Privilege after privilege after privilege. Why God he gave privilege for the penis of Muhammad? And then, if you go to the Quran, what you will find. You will find the same garbage. The Quran said, it's made lawful for you the following. Who's left? And any believing woman, she can offer herself to the Prophet as a privilege. Why? Any what the, what this? Offer. Listen, listen, my, my friend, your, your name is what? Kazim. Kazim, Kazim. Listen, what offering women offering themselves to me have to do with religion, with God? Where is that? Where is that? In the Quran, don't you know? Let me see. Like I, I know, I know that they, they said they can marry from the cousin and from the mother. This uh, chapter thirty-three, uh, the same chapter about Zainab. Zab, Zab. The same chapter about Zainab. 
verse number 50 all those women are lawful for Muhammad who nobody left Muhammad is going to if every woman in the world and not only that and all those are privileged for you only I, I gotta go to the mocks tomorrow to 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 challenge all, all this. I, I have a better idea. Why why you don't call the sheikh right now? Let him join us. No, I cannot. I cannot call what? him. Now. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I cannot call him. No, no, that will be better because you see, I want you to hear how your sheikh he cannot answer. I want you to choose the best sheikh in town, or maybe all of them they are invited. And you will see they cannot answer. Muhammad is a pervert. You see, all false leaders who claim that sent by God, doesn't matter even there is a there's a Christian man like that, there's a Christian priest, they are, you know, pervert. They are false Christians used by Satan. So they sleep with women claiming that they are men of God, and your prophet is the same. Privilege. This is a privilege for him, and now he is making it. But the difference is that if a Christian man he used his own, let us say, influence to fool some women. He cannot claim. He cannot claim that God told him. People will laugh at him. Here, your prophet is claiming that God gave him those privilege, only for him, about sex and money. So, uh, please, uh, uh, CP. I want to ask one question. Uh, uh, is Aisha aware of? Uh, because you know, seventy-five percent of the hadiths was. Uh, was narrated by Aisha. Was she aware of all these? Was she what? Was she aware of all these um, women giving themselves? To... Sure, sure, sure. You know, even Aisha, she said, like, uh, 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 don't a woman feel ashamed to offer herself? Huh? She said she was jealous. She was jealous. So she said, in the front of Muhammad, isn't it a woman? Because women they are coming and offering themselves Muhammad to have sex with them. Let me show it for you. Here we go. Aisha, she said, I felt jealous of women who offer themselves to Allah Messenger. Because now the cult leader he convinced those women that this is what Allah wants. You offer yourself. I sleep with you. And not only that, he said in different hadith that a woman, any woman, he, Muhammad, he slept with her or marry her, she will enter heaven. Ah. So, so now those women, they want to go to heaven. And not only that, they will have a free retirement because the second Muhammad he sleep with you, you have a free food, free shelter, protection for a lifetime. You are the women of Muhammad. Do you see it? Aisha uh, somebody it? was typing on the in the chat that Aisha was six years old. What six years? She 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 was eighteen, not six years old. What six years old is? This oh yeah, person? she was eighteen. But my friend Aisha, she was eighteen when Muhammad died. Looked like your prophet. He married her after he died. How? Oh. Well, you are the one saying to me that the prophet he married Aisha when she was eighteen, but she was eighteen when he died. She was seventeen, going eighteen, not eighteen. So, according to you, your prophet, he married Aisha after he died. Because you are saying she was 18. Oh, yeah, she was 18. She was 18 hmm. Isn't it Aisha, so she said? Do you have ref reference for that? To, how can she be six years old? How can somebody be... Here we go. This is your reference in front of you. It says exactly how many years she lived with him. So she, he married her at the age of six. He had full intercourse. Before that, he was fondering her at the age of nine. And she did live with him nine years. So what the total? <sighs> what? What the total? Six year he married her. I'm waiting she for lived with him. Know. She lived with him yeah. nine that years. Six plus nine, what the number? Prophet married her when she was six well, listen, years. Listen, six plus nine, what the number? Hmm. That's 15. Okay, so Muhammad, when 
uh, 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 he died, Aisha, she was not even 17, she was 15. What uh, Adit is this one? This is Al-Bukhari. This is Sai. Very authentic. And here it says in the corner, until his death. You see it? I.E. Till his death. Uh, I believe we, because of this is uh, Sai Al-Bukhari. This is... Uh, okay, so, but this is the pervert. This is a pervert behavior. This is a pervert. Uh, it's, uh, it doesn't sound good to me. It doesn't... So why you don't leave Islam, my friend? I have to make so many research, so many research, because I have to go to the mosque tomorrow. Okay. Question why? why what tomorrow. about? I, I'm not going to ask you now to say you are out of Islam or you just think about it. But I want you at the same time, when you go to the mosque, tell them that there is a man. He challenged all of you together to prove him wrong. Tell them what happened. Tell them I could not answer him. Who is of you? Want to be the lion of Allah to join in a conversation? You can give them my sky, feel free, invite them all and call him. What do you think? All right. uh, let, let me get to the marks tomorrow because uh, you believe me, as I'm talking to you now, my hand is shaking. My hand, my hand is shaking. It's not, it's very difficult to, for me to handle this, but I, I need to, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Well, I you know for me, I, what I see, that your hand is shaking because the truth hurt, and you are a good man. You are trying to, uh, you know, to defend, uh, but your heart, you know, cannot take it. So uh, this is what I'm saying to you: you better leave Islam sooner or later, because this is a very, very bad cult, it's extremely, extremely bad cult. And this is why, you know, you you see how much confident I am. I told you just call right now. You're shake right now, not even tomorrow. We are live. We are live. No matter, I have to let them know that oh, somebody wants to talk to them. All I right. Just so uh, let them. us do this. Next time I go live, you call me and update me what happened. What do you think? Yeah, definitely I'll get back to you. It's All not right. Smart and invite, that. please, anyone he think he can refute me. Uh, but yeah. I, I want you to tell me to do something. Don't tell them Christian press. Just tell them a Christian guy. I don't want you to lie, you know. Mm. But just don't tell them Christian friends because the second they knew, they will take a hike. Just tell them there's a guy, his name is a Christian, or he's a Christian, and he is debating me. I do not know what to answer him. Who want to join us in a conversation? Right. After, they, after they call, they will find out it's me. And then it's going to be too late and a very embarrassment if they decide right. to run away. All, All right, right, my friend. Thank All you for right. calling. Thank you so much. Thank and you we so pray much. for you to see the truth, and the truth will set you free. Thank you, Kasim. Or Kasim. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. There is no question that Muhammad is a very extremely wicked man. And those poor people in Africa, I, I forgot to mention to him what he what what Muhammad he he, he say about black people. <laughs> very disgusting. Very disgusting man. As you see, Muhammad is an invalid man. His ethic is below freezing they try to duct tape him making him sound like he is a good guy he's the best in the world when you cannot find one thing is not wrong about him i mean who in the world you will find that he go after his own son wife he go inside the house of a man he flirt with the woman she is not there he go after children he have sex with the children he kidnap women from their houses he, he killed the husband he raped the women uh, 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 his his uh, his his uh, uh, cousin accused him that you know uh, uh, Muhammad he accused his cousin that he raped him. Uh, Muhammad uh, he imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not. Muhammad was we bewitched. Muhammad uh, uh, accused by his own wives and Allah he made verses about it. Uh, Muhammad uh, he need help of Allah against Aisha and Hafsa. Uh, I mean, name one thing. Is right about this man Muhammad trying to tempt men to marry children Muhammad is asking his Jabir his friend why you don't go and have sex with a child so she can amuse you and you can suck her tongue and suck her saliva what is left 
So why in the world anyone want to leave the most holy, the most amazing, the miracle, the Messiah? He is a miracle. Not only he do miracle. You see, there is many sent by God. They do miracle. But the Messiah himself is a miracle. His birth is a miracle for his God. The Messiah is the walking, talking, living, holy word of God. Not just walking, talking, living. He is holy. Even the stupid Quran could not deny that Jesus is holy. And Muhammad is not. Why Jesus is holy? Give me a reason. Only God is holy. Every human being is a sinner. Muhammad, he says, Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Jesus is not the son of Adam. He's not. He's a son of God. Jesus said, I am from above and you are from below. And then the Muhammad and they say to you, Brother Sitter, I turned the Christian. You told me one verse in the Bible said, I am God with me. Coward, liars, hypocrites. Every single statement Jesus said, when he said, I am, he is saying, I am God. And that is my holy Lord. That is the Messiah. While your prophet is the most pervert ever. And you try to duct tape him, but it doesn't work. Anyway, we have to say thank you to our friend Kazim for calling. At least he is brave, not like those cowards who don't dare to call. And he was honest. And we hope he will be able to find some shakes so we can shake Islam better and better. Until we see you again, I say may the Lord bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Remember always to find me the easiest way because I use many channels. And sometimes we switch channel in the blink of an eye because YouTube don't like us. Always you can find us in Patreon. You do not need to make any donation. My work is for free. You go to Patreon as you see it in the screen. Patreon.com slash Christian Prince. Click at the last video. You can even see it without logging in. And then you will know where I will be. Very simple. Don't make donation. We know that the majority are, they don't care. However, our service is for free. The Lord, he said, for free you took, for free you give. May the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, this is your brother Christian Prince who was serving you humbly for today. And Muhammad, as always, defeated by the power of the Lord. Thank you.